Ooh, still working on the uh, charring the wood for the potage garden. But I'm through charring for today. But let me tell you guys about something that's um, kind of a mystery here on the farm that we're gonna get to the bottom of one way or the other. All right, so we recently mentioned on a live stream that we got a mystery critter on the farm and Brooke thinks she knows where the den is and it's been doing some damage out here in the pasture. And we think it's one of those prehistoric looking armadillos, but some of you guys had an uh, inclination that it would maybe something different. Me or pe viewers? Viewers. Yeah, viewers were, some people were saying it was a mole. Yeah. This critter makes a explosion <laughs> <laughs> on the top of the ground. And if this critter were to go to our garden area, yeah. it would be a problem. So I think we need to get this under control before springtime planting comes. Ain't that the truth? Yep. Also, some of you guys said it could have been a groundhog. It was y'all had all kind of suggestions, and so we we came over here the other day. We actually walked. We kind of walked. This is our little walking area. We try to do as much as walking as we can every day. And uh, we come walk and check on the bees, which are way over there, and. We've noticed that uh, it's been a lot more active. It has. I mean, it has been active. I even showed it to Mary Carl earlier today. Yeah. She wanted to get some branches for her indoor birds. Uh -huh. She likes to clip off pine branches and put them in the indoor aviary. So I showed it to her when we came over here and asked her what she thought it was. And she really didn't know. She didn't know. Well, one thing for sure, if it's a bear, a tiger, a lion, or a cougar, we got Holly to protect us. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us get over here and it be peering at us. Oh, that would be great. Like we're in its territory. So, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh huh. We don't know what it is, no, right? We don't know what it is. But regardless, look at the deer track. <laughs> Mm. Regardless, there they were again. Lots it, of deer tracks. It doesn't need to be here. Right. On this farm. So I'm thinking just we gotta find out what it is first. Right. And then hopefully it's a possibility that we can trap it and relocate it. Sounds like a plan. So we're coming up on now when I was over here. It was all dug up over yonder. Really? Yeah, all oh, this was dug up. And that's just it, is it moves around. At one point, I thought its den was over in this area. Yeah. Kind of where we'll we're walking. go back that way and see what it looks like. Okay. But today, when Mary Carl and I came out, mm -hmm. I thought this other hole I, I don't even know if you'd call it a den, a burrow. I swear I saw it somewhere. I thought it was over here. Well, see, that's just it. Is I'll come and I'll see it in one area. Uh huh. And then I come back the next time and it's like it's, it. it's moved on. No, maybe not. Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. I swear, maybe I was further down over. While we're over here, we'll peek at the bees real quick. Well, I did that too. Guess what? What? They are thirsty. Oh, you gotta make some more drink for them? Yeah, there's one hive that hasn't drank as much as the other ones. Yeah. But see it? Yeah. That one is still full, but the rest it. of them are just about empty. And come here, Holly. Come, come here, girl. girl. Come on. And very active. They are active. But that's because our weather is super warm. It's mimicking spring. Yeah. You got to. You got to. Fill them, fill them back up again. I got the jars ready. Come on, Holly. Come on, girl. Holly said she, we didn't know she was a beekeeper. <laughs> There's a beekeeper. No suit needed. I mean, Holly come out here all the time, and I thought it was back yonder, but maybe I'm confused. Oh well, this is here. this is where the most activity is right now, according to my steps today. 
right around in here, ain't it? That maybe that's what I saw over here. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you can see the burrow from here. This is where it's tore up. See the burrow? Right there. Yeah. I see the burrow. You know what though? Me and Holly, I swear, me and Holly found another one. All right, here we go. See here all we these? Go. You can see we got a little rooting going on here. I don't even know. All through here. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. Look. Yeah. What well, me and Holly Look found the they... other day. I swear it was worse than this. Maybe. Oh, this is it. Because I remember seeing. So they, they're tearing it up good. Whatever it is. I'm thinking that's. I'm thinking armadillo, but we're going to find out. Look right here, Jason. I mean, they really make the dirt come out and leave just a hole behind. Yeah. And it's a pretty good size hole. Yeah. Maybe, I guess that is the den me and Holly You saw. know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's some scat. Oh. That looks like. Rabbit, doesn't it? That looks it? like rabbit. Maybe deer. Could be deer. I think it's too little for deer, but I think that's rabbit. Hmm. Don't go down in there, Holly. You know what I thought about doing? What's that? If all else fails. Yeah. I thought about pouring some water down in there. But, come here, Holly. <laughs> Holly says she ain't got to do that. You know what I could think? She go down there and get Whatever it, it is, it's going to jump out and jump on me. Oh, gosh. So we got us a tree right here. I hope our thing's wide enough. Our angle? No, our, um, our strap. I do think this will work. I don't see, you see any little track? No, I looked all around and the only thing that I could see was this right here. You see this? Yeah. It looks like almost like a scratch. Now would a rabbit do that? I don't know if a rabbit would do that or not. I really don't know. Are you in there, Mr. Rabbit? Let's see what this is over here. That's where they've been digging. Oh. You can see all like, that digging. Huh? I don't think a rabbit, because it's everywhere. I don't think a rabbit would do that. It's everywhere. I'm feeling, I'm feeling armadillo. I mean, it is everywhere. I'm going to put my phone down in there. I could put a GoPro and a selfie stick. You could, but let's don't do that until we figure out what it is. Okay. I wonder how fast you can drop your phone. I don't know. How deep can an armadillo bear? Mm, no, but it's definitely a, a house of some sort. I think so, too. I know so. All right, so we're going to put us a camera up. And I think I maybe face it this way. Maybe go, yeah, because we don't want to catch any cars. Yeah, uh, the cars like going by is going to be tough. So we're going to have to face it opposite way of the face highway. Face it this way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You can't see the screen, though, what it's taking a picture of, can you? We're going to find out what this critter is. I hope so. One way or another, we're going to find out. I hope it doesn't come out right now. Think right there? That looks pretty good. Like you said, we need to cut these, probably these grass sprigs. That's what I'm thinking. There's the camera. So that camera is coming right through there. So I think we're good. All right, Holly, we got it. Think we're going to catch some footage? I hope so. You think we're going to catch it on camera? I think we'll catch it on camera. But look at them. They're yeah. everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. And you can see some of them don't go as deep as others. So it's almost like there was nothing in that hole mm -hmm. to he eat. Keeps, he keeps digging around. And then it stays in a little small area. He's got to live close by. So that, that may be his den. I can't see him walking all the way over here. No. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. He ain't going to do that. Hmm. Yeah, they're doing some rooting though. And that would tear your garden up. I know, I think we need to get control of this critter. Yeah. I mean, we don't want to kill it. We just want it to go to another home. So the camera's there. If it lives here, it's gonna come out. We should get it. We should get it. We should get something. And then it, it it's like it, it's a few here but when you go over the top of this ridge, it just kind of stops. Yeah. So he does not have four wheel drive, whoever it is, whatever right. it is. Yeah, he's not locking the hooves in uh -uh. and going over that hill, he's is he? He's not. He's staying on, on that side. All right, buddy, we're gonna figure out who you are. I guess it could be a field rat. Uh, but then I want you to go down in that hole and see. <laughs> 
Just slide my hand down in there? Yes. I could put the GoPro on a selfie stick. Well, let's let's catch it first. Let's catch it on camera. <laughs> and stick stick it down in there. No, what yeah, we're up against. If nothing happens. I would we'll... hate for it to come out. I would too. Because <laughs> I may lose my camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or my lunch. Gonna go ahead and fit the bees while we're out there, and um, y'all see our beautiful jar stash up here. Six, one more. One more. Oh, there was one that had. That's a wide one. mouth. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you making sugar like a syrup? Yes, this time of year. They need to be fed a mixture of two to one sugar to water. Two to one. We're going to make one gallon. Well, it'll make more than one gallon, but uh -huh. we're going to use one gallon of water uh -huh. to 34 cups of sugar. Wow. That's crazy. That is it? crazy. That's a lot of That's sugar. That's a lot of sugar. But they need the energy. Yeah, as hot as it is yet. Yeah. All right, this will make 31 cups. Three more cups. So we're gonna add a gallon of water, hot to water. To all that sugar. To all that sugar and then just mix it up and it will dissolve, believe it or not. Wow. Well. There's the gallon, we're gonna mix it on up. Yeah, and it won't be too hot by the time we get it over there and pour it in the jars. Yeah. It'll be a temperature where they can drink it immediately. Since we got so much get up, the jars, uh, the camera, the mixture, we're going to dry the beep beep so we ain't got to walk it all the way over there. Tucker, okay. Tucker decided to go with us. Tucker decided since Holly doesn't ride on the side by side, yeah. then that's for her. Holly runs. Holly, Holly, Holly says she needs to shake a leg. She does. Come on, Tucker. Got Holly over here. Got Tucker right there. Beautiful sunset. All right, Tucker, here we are. We're here, Tuck Tuck. Just sit right here. Okay. I usually just sit my jars down. If you go around from behind, uh huh, he's not going to have an issue because their entry path is in the front. Yep, that makes sense. That one's got a lot of syrup in it. Okay. So I may top it off. Uh huh. But for right, look at all the bees. Wow. And they're not they're not interested in me. They want a little sugar. It's got a little bit left, but I'm still gonna top it off. I got you. See it has a holes. Yeah. Just gravity just makes it. That's cool. I got this one. Are you getting big? Yeah. Look at you. Is it got a little bit in it? Nope. Nothing left, is it? Nothing left. Right. That one had a lot of bees on it. Yeah. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go run these through the dishwasher. Okay. And have them clean for the next next fill up. Yeah, look at Holly and Tucker. Oh, they're just walking around, <laughs> scoping things out. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Maybe they'll see that creature. Maybe they'll see the creature. They'll come tell us. The creature of Cog Hill. I wonder if a lot of beekeepers get um, get accused of making moonshine, all that oh, sugar they goodness. buy. Oh, goodness. Because they go through some sugar now. You are right about that. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of it because I just filled it up two yeah. days ago. 
All right, babies, here's y'all some fresh water. Fresh sugar water. Drink up. Holly don't need any sugar water. She sure doesn't. <laughs> she got enough energy, don't you, girl? Yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this one is full of bees. Full of bees. This one's full, too. Wow. There you go. All right. Where'd you go? I'm trying to find There we go. <laughs> I couldn't find you on the camera. I'm here. <laughs> Got the bees fed. Yeah. Y'all can see the sun's going down. So hopefully tonight we'll capture what is what is this cog creature. <laughs> hopefully we can capture it on camera tonight. showing his tail off over there. You have seen? Number 64 is strutting. Look at him. <laughs> All right, so we're fixing to go check the camera. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is day two of us checking the cameras. Uh, I looked yesterday and had nothing, no pictures. So we're gonna try it again and see what we got. All right, buddy. We don't have any pictures this time. I'm thinking about getting another camera and adding two and put it in a different direction. I want to figure out what this is. Come on, buddy. All right, you guys, let's go. Come on, Arlo. All right. I'm hoping we caught something. I really am. We're gonna catch something one way or another. Cause I got a feeling whatever this is is still gonna come back. That's just my feeling. So I got both Arlo and Holly with me. Now this is a good trip for Arlo. This right here because we're constantly moving and I can watch him. Because he has a tendency to just wander off. If he sees Foxy or the other dogs, he'll wander off if he sees the cats. He's gone. Um, he just, he's really independent. He doesn't have to be right by my side so i have to keep my eye on him and that's why i put the bell on him so that way i can have a at least a uh a audible signal as to where he is and we do stuff like this all the time when me and brooke walk we do a we walk every day and we'll take arlo with us and as long as we can see him and can focus our attention on him then we're good but when we're outside doing chores, that's a different story because we're having to, you know, we're, our minds are on feeding animals, checking animals, making sure everybody's okay. And the next thing you know, like that, Arlo's gone and we're having a search party because he's then gone off into the woods somewhere. So that's the reason why that Arlo doesn't stay outside all the time with me and never has and, and never will because it's not the kind of dog he is. It's just not the kind of dog he is. But trips like this, we're good on. <laughs> Y'all look over here now, we got, look at the vultures. There's a mess of them over here. What well, if we got something in our field over here? This was unexpected. I don't see anything in our pasture, but I see something right there. And I don't know what that, if that's it, if that's trash. Let's look. Nope, that's a bag. I don't know why the vultures are over here. There's some reason why they were over here. Definitely wasn't that McDonald's bag I have to go pick up. Holly, you see anything? You see anything across the road? They went over there though. They were on this side. I don't smell anything, y'all. 
I don't see anything. I don't know why. Maybe they were just over here for no apparent reason, but oh well. All right, let's go over here and check our, um, let's check our game camera. Y'all smelling over here? I just don't see any thing that leads me to believe there's something. I think there was something in that hole, but I don't think there's anything in that hole now. It's just what I think. All right. Well, just like last time, it's just pictures of me when I'm over here checking the camera. No pictures of anything else. So, that is a little disappointing. That leads me to believe that number one, I don't think anything's living in this burrow anymore. Something was at one time, but I don't think anything is now. I really don't. If not, if so, this camera would have picked it up because this aimed right at it. So if something came out of this hole, that camera would have got it. Number two, even though this is fresh, you can tell these holes are fresh. It's not over here anymore or it's somewhere else. So I'm thinking about adding another camera, maybe facing through here. Leave this one facing kind of this way. And put me another one facing that way. And maybe we can catch this thing. Let's go get another camera and set it up. I don't have one, but we'll go grab another one and come back and set it up. And um, maybe we can catch something, y'all. So that is a little disappointing. The cog hill mystery creature is still a mystery, but hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. I really hope so. And I'm gonna check back later and see if those vultures come back over there. Hello, Miss Foxy. Oh my gracious. Ooh, woo. Staying in? Okay. See, Arlo didn't want to go that time, so he's staying in. <laughs> Arlo wanted to stay in that time. All right, so got the other game camera, and we're fixing to go set it up. Hopefully we can catch something. And that is the difference between Arlo and Holly. Arlo is a very independent dog, and he may want to go outside. Meh, yeah, he may not want to go outside. When I come inside, he may be excited to see me, or he may be eating a bowl of dog food. <laughs> or if I go sit down, he may jump up in my lap and love on me, or meh, I don't feel like that right now. I'm gonna go outside and lay in the sun. So that's how Arlo is. Unlike Holly, who wants to know where I'm at and wants to be with its owner, not just, I'm just using me as an example, but wants to be with the owner all the time, no matter what, all the time. And no dog is getting more loving than the other dog. No dogs are getting ignored. We love all our dogs the same. Just each of our dogs are different and they have different personalities. All right, so me and Holly, just, I raised the original one up just a little bit. Now let's install the new one. Plan on, there's the original right there. I plan on, cause it's facing that way. That's kind of where that burrow is. The new one, I want to face this way cause there's dig out spots in here and face this way. So that way I'll have this area covered over here and I'll have this area covered over here. All right, good deal. And there's camera number two, guys, and it's facing that way. I'm so sorry that we were unable to catch this creature, this critter, on camera. I really am, because we want to know as well. Um, I'm leaning, leaning towards armadillo. Brooke was uh, doing some research last night, and she's leaning towards a rabbit. What do you guys think? I want to know in the comments below what you guys think this may be. And, I'm, and I, again, I apologize for us not having anything in stone, no pictures or anything, 
but if something happens as soon as one of these cameras pick up something that we think is causing this or that is doing this you guys will be the first to know i can promise you that ain't that right holly yeah all right girl maybe maybe tonight's the night or today you know when i don't care if it's the daytime <laughs>